there at some point you went from, I'm probably not in your case, building these out of my house to now I've got to order for 10 million. How do I make that happen? Did you experience something like that? And how did you deal with it? Um, so it, it happens really quick. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know that I would have to. I, I call it, it's feeding my baby dragon. So the baby dragon was in an egg, like a little cute little egg right when it came delivered as a package. And then all of a sudden, it was that worrisome, like, am I going to be able to make it grow? And then all of a sudden, like baby dragons do, they start growing and get bigger and get bigger and get bigger and get bigger. My entire spare bedroom used to be covered floor to ceiling and no more nausea bands. And then we just got too big. And then what, what do we do? So we started um, getting fulfillment centers, uh, manufacturing. And actually what's interesting is that because Target came online and they will be probably our third largest um, customer whenever they do come online, we are now getting a fulfillment center over, or not fulfillment, pardon me, a manufacturing plant over by I-4. Um, still need to talk. So that being said, we're gonna be bringing, we're still gonna have both because we have 12 countries in the world that we still have to, we have to fulfill to, um, but we'll be bringing it home because uh, shipping was very expensive. The other thing that I didn't know was customs. Right? Customs were so, and, and it was just, we were bringing in pallets now on boats. And what happens when those pallets don't get there in time? Deadlines, um, you actually have to pay a fee if you are late to any of these retailers. So a lot of, it was a big learning curve when it came to the behind the scenes. My husband is our chief operating officer. <sighs> Bad mistake, when you don't know what you're doing, you should hire somebody who actually has a back office. Now they figured it out because we hired out other people in not just finance, but in fulfillment, and they kind of taught it to us because they already know the business. Um, but that was actually, that was the most difficult and the most money consuming part of it was back office. Front office, everything was good, right? But back office was, whew, we just grew so fast that my team just kept multiplying. And then, and what people don't know as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you pay yourself last. Hey! So I'm like, oh, I am not worth one dollar and seventy eight seventy seven cents an hour, you know? Because if you look about, if you look at it, you pay everybody else, all your employees, and then finally whatever's left, you get. So something to think about too.